Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. In 2023, U.S. Commerce Secretary Raimondo said that he was considering optimizing the export control rules for semiconductor equipment. Judging from U.S. media reports at the time, the so-called optimization details were actually to continue to expand restrictions while restricting the shipment of lithography machines and other equipment. It's just that it is not to include more process lithography machine equipment within the scope of control. After all, Chinese cores with mature processes have basically achieved domestic substitution. This does not make sense. Instead, it is intended to start from lithography machine parts and components. Start with repair services. To put it simply, it actually wants to turn the photolithography equipment purchased by Chinese companies into scrap iron. After all, in the fourth quarter of 2023, ASML, which obtained the shipping license, shipped a large number of lithography equipment to Chinese companies in a short period of time which was enough to meet the lithography equipment needs of Chinese companies for two to three years. The United States is planning to optimize the export control rules for lithography machines and implement further export controls on AI chips. The export control of AI chips is nothing more than expanding the scope of restrictions, while the export control rules of lithography machines restrict parts and maintenance services, which is equivalent to turning Chinese companies' lithography machines into scrap iron. Lithography machines have extremely high technical thresholds and manufacturing difficulties. This is why only ASML can ship EUV lithography machines globally. Even high-end immersion DUV lithography machines are only available to ASML, Nikon, Canon, etc. A few equipment manufacturers can ship. As a precision equipment, although the lithography machine is not particularly prone to various malfunctions, once it does malfunction, sufficient technical support is required to repair it. The most important thing is that a photolithography machine contains tens of thousands of parts, and there are thousands of types. If you want to repair a photolithography machine, it is not enough to just have the technology, you also need the support of sufficient part suppliers. Under this situation, Chip manufacturers will basically negotiate with equipment manufacturers about after-sales services such as maintenance when purchasing equipment. Both parties will fix that equipment manufacturers need to provide maintenance services within a certain range. This also means that if the maintenance service cannot be completed, the lithography equipment purchased by Chinese companies may become scrap iron. Now, faced with the fact that the photolithography equipment that may be purchased has become scrap iron, China has also launched a strong counterattack 
ASML will either buy back these equipment or else it will lose its patent rights in China. The total value of ASML's lithography machines shipped to the domestic market has exceeded 500 billion yuan. This is obviously a big pressure for ASML. If we take ASML's latest NAEUV lithography machine as an example, the price of an NAEUV lithography machine is about 2 billion yuan, and ASML's annual production capacity is 10 units. This also means that even if the production capacity is full and all shipments are made, ASML will only be able to obtain revenue of about 20 billion. For ASML, 500 billion is also the total revenue in about 10 years. For companies like ASML, that must invest a lot of money in technology research and development and constantly break through advanced technologies, they obviously do not have that much liquidity. This also means that if you really want to buy back these devices, ASML basically cannot do it. If ASML refuses to buy back, it means that its technology patents in China may be used to compensate for losses. In this case, ASML is obviously unacceptable to both. It is precisely for this reason that ASML is facing a dilemma today and has been refusing to restrict lithography machine maintenance services. One thing worth noting is that the Netherlands and Japan, which had previously restricted the shipment of semiconductor equipment, also agreed very much on this issue and clearly expressed their opposition. Judging from the current situation, it is still unknown whether the United States can really require manufacturers such as ASML and Nikon to limit repair services. However, this also reminds China of the importance of developing core technologies and achieving localized independent substitution. If you agree, please like it, welcome to repost, leave a message and share it.